the SAE International, that would be a Society of Automotive Engineers, uh, document 980887, February 1998, says similar or improved wear friction characteristics when compared with commercial petroleum and synthetic lubricants. And they, and when they did their study, they put it, they put the the SAE put the vegetable oil in the motor and ran it for about a hundred hours and then took a look to see what kind of improvements or, or what happened. Been uh, running vegetable oil in the crank. Not a lot of people would actually ever put vegetable oil in there for crank oil, but I have. It lubricates just fine. It's a little low. No, it isn't used vegetable oil. This is pure vegetable oil. I just cracked a seal on it. So it's not something you get out of a deep fat fryer. Just put it in like this. And check it again. Vegetable oil burns clean, lubricates really well, doesn't have any additives in it, like waxes and other chemicals, just pure. Need a little bit more. This engine here is a little bigger than most car engines, it is a four cylinder Chevy motor, so it runs about the same. RPMs also as a regular car motor. I think it's important that people check their oil in their car or whatever it is on a regular basis, whether you're using vegetable oil or motor oil or whatever it is. Almost done here. That full. Vegetable oil burns higher than regular motor oil. Flash point is about 600 degrees. Doesn't mix with water very well. Check things, make sure they're closed up. Just leave it open here for a second. Show you that it is in fact working, but you can't see that anyways. Unless you look at the belts. We'll be going. If you notice, there's tachometer here. Right, right here's the tack. So. Oil pressure, stuff. Oops, we can sit down. We're, we're gonna go. Here we go. And we're off. We'll look at the tack here.